Hello, and welcome to my studio. Hey friend, welcome, welcome. This is our new studio space. And I'm gonna give you a quick tour because we have a lot of amazing plans for this space in renovations, making it brighter in here, more inspiring. But as is when John and I were walking around this property and looking at this house, uh, we fell in love with this detached garage. It already has some of the bones that we are gonna keep um, and just brighten it up and make it a little bit cuter. And we got so excited about the potential of this space and I can't wait to walk you through what our plans are. So if you've been around this channel for a while or you've see, seen some of our videos, you might know that our previous house, we had to film in the kitchen. So we had an office upstairs. It was too small to actually set up all the film gear and, and film our YouTube videos for me and John, John being my husband slash videographer. Um, and so we, in buying the space, we wanted to make sure that we could get an office space that had enough space for us to not only work and have our desks to work at, but also have a dedicated film desk. So we could have the video gear, the lights, the microphone, all of that stuff set up and not have to tear it down and set it up every single time that we had film. Along with that, not being in a kitchen anymore, we don't have a three-year-old running around and getting tangled up in the wires and all of that. So it's gonna be a nice set off from the house a dedicated space where we can have all of the expensive film gear away from the toddler and also have our separate desks for both John and I to do our work um, editing and doing other things that we do in the business. And so to give you kind of a tour and an idea, just so you know, we are working with this wonderful designer. Her name is Jen of California Casa. Make sure you check her out on Instagram. She's got amazing style. And the idea or the direction that we gave her when we were first walking through this space was we kind of want to blend the feeling of cottage and surf shack. So we're in Southern California. We really wanted to bring in that California Mediterranean vibe combined with, because I paint flowers, like tons and tons of flowers, combined with a cottage feel, something bright, very white, and uh, natural elements pulled in with the flowers and the yard and all of that kind of stuff. So here is kind of what the first, when you walk in the space, what it looks like. We have a kitchen on the left and obviously it's not super cute at the moment, it totally works, um, but we are going to be redesigning this and kind of ripping this part up. And the inspiration right now, or what we think the design is gonna look like is doing plywood um, cabinets and maybe a white countertop or some sort of tile or maybe even concrete and then open raw shelving for the kitchen. And we're gonna slide the smeg where the oven is because this is gonna be converted into an office obviously and we'll have some guest space back here for like a Murphy bed or some sort of pull out couch. However, we won't need a stove in here. The main house has a stove. We're gonna also open up the front area, have a bigger window on the side, a bigger picture window on the side of the door and replace the door, clean up the framing around the door as well. And obviously little details like stucco and smoothing things out the surface and brightening up the white paint on the walls. But the kitchen is gonna come out to about here, an extra foot or two out here. And we're gonna have a return with a couple bar stools. And behind me, you'll see that there's this wall. So someone used to live in here and rent out this space from the owner of the house. And so back there was kind of like a pseudo closet hallway thing. And we don't really need that anymore. So we're gonna blow out that wall blow it up um, and put in some big windows on that side and maybe a door so it can open up to the yard and uh, the main house. And we'll have more storage back there and also um, more storage along the back wall that's directly behind me. The ceilings are the trickiest part. Not tricky as in what do we do with them because it's an amazing already as is feature. Um, but it is an orangey-ish wood. So whenever we're filming or I'm taking video or you know posting on Instagram, taking photos, it casts like an orange light because the light from the windows bounces off the ceiling and onto my paper. So if you're an artist and you're planning out a studio space, that is something to think about is how the light is reflecting and bouncing onto your paper and all of that because it can, caught, it can um, cast a yellow tint or an orange tint depending on the hue of the wood or whatever your ceiling is. And so 
Here is my debate. What do we do with the ceiling? We have three options and I want you to vote what your favorite option would be below in the comments because this is something, it's a toss up, major toss up. So first paint it all white and I'll link to a Pinterest board where I have all my inspiration for um, this space and you'll see that there's a few options in there of what it would look like with an all white wrapped up ceiling space. So either paint it all white, even the beams, these like little, what I don't know what they're called, the, the these ones, the lower beams, or just paint the ceiling white and leave these beams not painted, so exposed. Or option three is to stain all of the wood a lighter color. So bleach it so it's like a lighter beige, net, more natural looking color for both the beams and the ceiling. So option one, paint it all white. Option two, paint just the ceiling beams white and then these lower beams will be exposed with that color. Or option three is to stain or bleach all of it, the ceiling and the beams to match the color and make it so it's not as orange and it's much lighter. So vote what your option vote would be. If I forgot something that you think is a really good idea, another option, throw it in the comments below. We're gonna start renovating this space in a couple months. So we have a couple months to draw up plans and get some more ideas in uh, our little notes and whatnot. So along with the ceiling and the kitchen, another big part of the renovation is gonna be the bathroom. So the bathroom has like these insanely steep steps that we kind of have to figure out what to do with with our contractor, if we can level it out a little bit more, or if there's a drainage issue underneath and that's why it's so steep. Um, so that's some of the stuff that we, we just won't know until we start working with the contractor. Um, but we're gonna try and level that out if we can. We're also gonna zhuzh it up, make it look, uh, maybe have potentially have a vintage sink in there, brighten it up with some white paint and some cuter tile, maybe some concrete floor with a nice, awesome vintage looking rug. Another note about the bathroom, it has some fun little quirks in there, like this black light that is super on brand. We're not gonna keep it. I know it's super on brand, but we're not gonna keep it. Um, and along with that, taking out this like wood laminate floor throughout the entire studio and seeing what it looks like underneath. I'm assuming it's concrete because this used to be a garage. I'm also assuming because this house was built in 1950 that this concrete is very cracked. And so we'll probably have to do something to smooth that out. But I do wanna keep that raw light concrete look for the floor mainly because I think it just looks really raw and workshoppy and I want to bring in that raw material look for that surf shack vibe. Um, along with that, we're gonna punch in some bigger windows on this left wall over here where our desks are. And then the wall behind me, the south facing wall, we're gonna have two triangle windows framing the top up there so we can get some good south southern light pouring in the studio to make sure that the light is all even. Cause that's another thing to think about if you're a painter and working in a studio space, having even light throughout the space, even when we're not filming is gonna be super crucial for making sure I'm getting my colors right or mixing things correctly and not having a glare or some weird afternoon glow, yellow, orange light. So having even light in a studio space is very, very nice and very important to have. And then last but not least, obviously we're gonna have some cuter, you know, cute furniture in here, like some storage cabinets that are gonna be built for us for all of our, all of my paintings, I have like thousands of paintings that I don't know where to store. So we're gonna figure out some way to get some like cute storage built for that back wall. And um, then along with that, we have the desk that we need for the, you know, standalone filming desk that we're gonna have kind of in this area back here. Things are kind of all up in the air and we're, we're you know, bouncing ideas off the designer and the contractor to see what we can come up with before we start breaking ground and painting and ripping up drywall and all of that. But that's gonna be done in a couple of months. And so we're in kind of that exciting phase of working up ideas and plans for the space. And I wanna know what your thoughts are on the ceiling because that's one of the last major decisions that we have of, I don't know what to do with that. And it might come down to what lighting fixtures we use um, you know, and all of that. And like, what would we use for the kitchen and that whole thing? Um, but I want to know what you would lean towards if this was your space or what you would want to see. Anyways, we are so, so grateful to be in this space. Honestly, I never imagined having a dedicated 
studio space that's this big, 400, I don't know how many square feet it is, but it just feels so amazing and I'm incredibly grateful for this and I don't take that for granted and I want you to know that. This is something that I've been working towards for a decade plus now, working so hard um, to get this space and a uh, home and all of that in Southern California is not very easy. So we are very, very grateful to be showing you the space and excited to hear your opinions on the ceiling. And I can't wait to show you how it unfolds. We're gonna be taking you along the entire process of when we start to do work on it, how it's coming along. And then finally, when it's all done, we're gonna give you a full studio tour, of course but that won't be for a few months. So buckle up, let us know what your thoughts are on the ceiling and I'll see you in the next video.